three, four, five presidents uh, have always had trouble uh, getting both parties together because it can't work if you don't get both parties at the table and come to a consensus. Uh, if the House is controlled by the Republicans and the Senate is uh, controlled by the Democrats, how do you propose uh, to make this, this work? That, that is my question. He asked about how do you, how do you manage things uh, in a practical way if you have a House divided from the Senate and vice versa. Um, in some ways, you, uh, you know, you indicate, and we all see the uh, arguments going back and forth. But I have worried over the years more about them coming together too often. <laughs> because they've come together, take, take the Federal Reserve for all these decades, for 100 years, nobody's even questioned the Fed, because the Fed accommodated big spending. And conservatives and liberals got together. Uh, they wanted, liberals want to spend for one thing, conservatives want to spend for another another thing. So they would have an agreement that deficits weren't too bad. And we have conservative economists as well as liberal economists, deficits don't matter. They don't buy into that. So they more or less, they uh, compromised on their principles, they got together and there was probably over the last seven years there was way too much bipartisanship. When it comes to foreign policy, do, does foreign policy ever really change? Oh no, uh, there was a time when you weren't even allowed to bring it up. Uh, if, if, if you're in war, you're not even allowed to ask questions. Uh, so I think there's too much of that. But the question is still real. How do you bring people together? Well, I think you bring people together not by uh, compromising so you can make government bigger. You have to get coalitions together that will go in the other direction. And uh, for that reason, I've worked uh, a good bit in the Congress with uh, progressive Democrats who happen to have more people in the Congress who agree with the ideas about the war and, and on civil liberty. So I work with them, but of course conservative Republicans uh, tend to be better on a tax policy. So you have to build these coalitions. And, and like I pointed out before, that is a big job. I'll tell you what, if the American people are against any of this, it doesn't happen because most people in Washington don't have very strong convictions. They don't have really strong beliefs. They like the job. <laughs> and therefore, they're listening. They're out there listening. So when the people, that's what they need. Make more noise. <laughs>